All right, well today we've got a 2008 Dodge Ram with a 6.7 liter Cummins engine. We're gonna go ahead and replace a couple of the fuel injectors today. And right now I just wanna review the process of using a Snap-on Modus to, to enter in the new IQA value into the PCM. So each injector, when it comes from the remanufacturer, comes off the flow bench, it's gonna have a very unique IQA, injection quantity adjustment, value placed in it. So this particular one is 7GAIA3 and that's going to be a code that's important to the PCM and allow it to trim the fueling from this injector. So I'm going to uh, use my scan tool. I've got the key turned on in the truck here. I'm trying not to get too much glare on my screen but I've already got it into the engine menu. Yes. Now we've got the opportunity for codes, clear codes, data, function test. I'm gonna select system test here. Now I can do cylinder performance test, injector kill test, or there's my injector quantity adjustment. So I'll hit yes. Now I can read all injectors current values or I can uh, go to the specific ones. So let's go to injector number one. It's going to allow us to do exactly what we need to do. So I'm going to hit yes. Make sure the engine's not running. Yes. And it shows me the current value. Okay. So now I have the opportunity to program, exit, or enter the injector value. So I'll scroll down to the injector value. All right. So now here is where the benefit of a touch screen kind of comes in. So again, recalling what my value here is, uh, seven. And then it's a um, G. A. Then I, A, three. So you can see the value displayed here. I select yes. Now I'm going to scroll back up to where it says program. I'll select yes. My value is displayed right there. So I'll select yes. And just like that, we've now gone ahead and entered the IG, IGA number for this injector, which we'll install in cylinder number one. So it's important to do this either before you do the job and keep them separate or as you're installing each injector into the engine. The last thing we want to do is grab all these cards and rip them off and throw them on the bench and try to do this later and match them up at a later time unless we make a note on the card. So best practice is to do one at a time and enter the information to make sure that you're actu accurately entering in the IQA number such as we've done here in this 2008 Dodge Ram with a 6.7 liter Cummins engine.